So as we begin to look at this, um, I've already got a YouTube channel set up for Calvary San Angelo and I've got live streaming capabilities. Um, under my playlist, I have um, my live playlist and I've got a, um, uh, in my live playlist, I've got a very short, um, actually that's the, not the live, truly live playlist. If I go to Creator Studio, and then I go to Video Manager, and then Playlist, um, and then I've got my Live. And in this, I've got a very short video. It's like five seconds that always stays there, and it's like a five-second intro. Um, and then it goes to this. And then what I do is I do a share, and then an embed, and then I put that here in on the live web page so that what you see here then on this live web page this live streaming web page is this and it automatically starts playing and then it'll go to whatever next video is active or currently recorded and that was recorded from Wednesday so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to uh, Creator Studio okay and then under live streaming which I've got set up and now I'm gonna say that I'm gonna schedule the next stream and I'm gonna set it for Sunday at 10 a.m. and basically now it's done and I pretty much leave that information so that it's always consistent so I don't have to do a whole lot of editing while I'm going and then this particular this is actually the video right now that's ready so I'm gonna right click copy video URL now I go to the video manager back to playlist and then I go to live and then I'm gonna remove this one and then I'm gonna add a video paste that link add that video I don't have to do anything else on the web page. This is all I have to do is remove one, you know, add a live, remove the other one, do another. Now what I can do is, um, you know, if I look at my playlist now, and I'm just going to go to live real quick because I'm going to remove these. Those shouldn't be in there. So now what I'm going to do is, um, I think that's a different playlist uh, right now. Um, this is the true live one, uh, and the other one is this one right here. Uh, let's see, I should be able to just delete that playlist. That's not the right one. Okay, I didn't say you saw where I made a mistake. But anyway, what I can do now is I can just look at the last video that I did, which is Wednesday. So I'll pause that and edit this. And actually go through and I can highlight this and this was goodness can you remember right now um, this is from the 16th so oh okay this was uh, U-turn service um, 12 16 16 all right and then I changed the thumbnail thumbnail sometimes it doesn't update immediately save changes stay on the page until it's done okay so now it's done all right and um, as we go through uh, I believe that is it so now if we go back to here and we refresh when people come to the live streaming page and it does my little five second intro video and then says you've got this much time until the next live video uh, and that's it we use YouTube um, on uh, the um, on the iPhone is what we record with uh, and we use uh, an app on there called Wirecast Go. It is a free app. If you pay, you get a few more 
things you can do, but for the most part, I mean, we've not found that we had to pay for it. It's only five ninety nine if you do five dollars and ninety nine cents if you do want to pay for it. And if you get a couple of people with their iPhones that'll install it, you've almost always got a camera available to do the stream. Um, it does not record a video to your phone. Um, but it does put up an, an HD video on YouTube. It's automatically archived, as you just saw, um, and it, it happens live. So that's what we're doing, um, and uh, that is it. Mm -hmm.